Hi there, this is Lady Kasha, and I'm here today to talk a little bit about how to work with the timing of your life, seen through the pinnacles of the numerological blueprint. So numerology is to begin with the metaphysical art and science based on your name and time of birth. It's a relative to astrology speaking about the same thing, you and your path in and relationship to this world and others as intended by your soul. One important part of numerology, just like in astrology, is the understanding of the unique timing of your life that it can supply. By knowing the vibration in effect at a given time as revealed by the numbers of the blueprint, you will know what the focus is of a given time period and what you can expect. You can find support for your intuition and know when to act and when not, when it is time to move forward or wait, what kind of activity is favored and what is not. In that way, you can work with the energies instead of wasting time going against them and also time your actions and moves so that you have the most support for whatever it is you're aiming at. Knowing your core numbers, your birthday, life path, destination, your soul's desire, outer personality, and your ultimate reality or maturity number, you can get a pretty good idea of who you are, the reason for your being here, and how to manifest your life in its entirety. But even knowing that timing is everything, and there are several different cycles of a lifespan, some of these are longer, some shorter, they can replace each other or be at work simultaneously, either complementing each other or seemingly be a little bit at odds with each other. But the blueprint of your soul, including the cycles that speaks about timing, is no coincidence. It is a soul choice that your soul made before it came into this incarnation. So if the energies seem to be opposed, it could be to create some friction that is meant to propel you forward. Pinnacles or a pinnacle is a period of development that can be said to create a framework for your life. They are protective and instructive and presents challenges and opportunities that represents qualities and attributes that needs or are intended to be assimilated during the time span in question. Every pinnacle has the potential of bringing a shift in your life when it comes into effect, and more so the bigger the shift in vibration is between the pinnacles. Sometimes the transition is smoother if the vibration is similar or even the same, and sometimes it can be like pulling a switch. When they signify significant change, it can be a truly transformational time that changes your entire life and its direction. The pinnacles are found on your life path derived from the month, day, and year of birth. The first pinnacle you find by adding your month and day of birth. The second by adding your day and year. The third pinnacle is found by adding the sum of the month and day with the sum of the day and year. And the fourth is found by adding the month and year of your birth, as you see in this example. There are thus four pinnacles in a lifetime. The first and the last ones are longer. The second and third ones are of nine years each. When calculating the pinnacles, attention can also be given to the numbers behind the single digit, the sums arrived at when doing the adding to begin with. That adds nuance and creates layers and depth, but is for a more advanced study than is the aim of this video. You find the exact time the pinnacle shifts by knowing your life path number, which is the total sum reduced to single digit of the month, day, and year of your birth. The first pinnacle begins when you're born and lasts until you are 36 years minus the number of your life path. So for instance, if your life path is a six, your first pinnacle ends with your 30th year as 36 minus 6 is 30. 
Your second pinnacle then begins when you turn 31 and lasts nine years. So the third begins when you turn 40. And the last one begins nine years after that when you turn 49. And that last one lasts until you leave the planet. The three changes of pinnacles always happen during the shift from a nine to a one personal year and they work closely with the nine personal year cycles. At work are also first and foremost the sub cycles derived from the month, day and year of birth, creating a greater context and then there are the essences coming from your name that also influence each year. But all of that is too beyond the scope of this video and something that I may come back to later. Lastly, before we go into the different pinnacle numbers, it is worth mentioning that if you are going through a pinnacle that is the same as one of your core numbers, there will be an extra focus on that core number during that time. And if you have a pinnacle number that is not represented by a letter in your name or is one of your challenged numbers, it will be a time when you will be challenged to really work to incorporate and balance that which the number represents in your life. So if you, for instance, like the number three in your name, letters C, L, and U, or if you have a three challenge, this will be a time when there is no way around and you need to overcome whatever is blocking your self-expression. Now, let's have a look at what the numbers can bring as expressed in the form of pinnacles. Pinnacle one. During a one pinnacle, you're supposed to develop your individuality to its highest point and potential. And you need to be independent, courageous, and bold. You are to be a leader, if not for others, then at least for yourself to be a pioneer and blaze your own trail and have your life manifested based on your own unique and original ideas. It's also a time of starting up and new beginnings and depending on what went on before and your other numbers, it can be a completely new lifestyle that takes form during these years. You will have less support from others and be required to rely primarily on your own strength and counsel. It's important that you avoid feeling sorry for yourself and instead focus on your dreams and goals. It can be a time of much accomplishment, reward and satisfaction if you put out effort. Pinnacle two. During a two pinnacle, you get the best results through working with others in collaborations and partnerships and supportive roles. You need to be cooperative, considerate, and patient. This is not the time to lead, but rather to work in the background, which is just as important. Actually, the power is not on stage, but usually behind it. But even so, this is a time to attract, not push. Opportunities and success will come easier in that way. Seeds are planted and germinating in the ground. You need to trust the process and tend to the garden, so to speak. Water it and pull out the weed and that which is supposed to be will be eventually. You're also extra intuitive, sensitive and more idealistic, even romantic during this time. It can express itself as shyness and a need to pull back. Your self-confidence may waver at times and you are more easily hurt, but you will also have a deeper appreciation of the finer things in life. And if you have musical talent, it may surface at this point. Have patience with yourself and watch out for becoming subservient or a doormat. Pinnacle three. During a three pinnacle, the energy is about being creative and artistic, expressing yourself in whatever form. It's a time to do the most of your opportunities, abilities, and talents, and to explore. You're more upbeat, inspired, and inspiring, and can motivate others in many ways. 
but by the word is especially emphasized. It's also a time of social activity. You will be more emotional and charming and attract both friends and lovers. The risk you run during this time is to scatter your energies, leaving things unfinished and squandering your opportunities. The energy is one of ease and even luck and carries a great potential for self-expression and success, but you need to put in the work to consciously bring in some discipline and focus. Pinnacle 4. During a four pinnacle, you're asked to be organized, structured, practical, and more serious. There is work to be done and great rewards in the form of practical results if you put out the effort. It's a time of laying down a foundation, be it in a career or for a home and a family, and not for an easy buck or a shortcut. You'll have many responsibilities professionally and privately and can sometimes perhaps feel a bit bogged down or limited. So it's important to take time out once in a while to play and rest. Even schedule that if you have to so that you do not exhaust yourself. Also, do not compare yourself with other people's timetable or their way of doing things. You have the potential here to experience the satisfaction and enjoyment of work well done and where it can take you, the fruits of your labor, even if it does not happen as fast as you initially thought or hoped for. Slow and steady wins the race applies here. Pinnacle 5. During a five pinnacle, there will be a lot of changes and things going on. You'll meet new, different, and unexpected circumstances and people and make many experiences. It's a time of growth and expansion, of travel and communication. Especially your ability with words can be enhanced. You can promote yourself to and anything you believe in with greater ease and success than at most other times. Opportunities for taking a risk and having it pay off can show up. Financially, money can come and go, but you will much likely have what you need when you need it. You will want to be free and make sure that you are, but there can also be restlessness and uncertainty that you will need to handle in a constructive way. Especially watch out for overindulgence when it comes to food, drinking, drugs, and also sex. Ground yourself and make sure you're not jumping into the fire if leaving a frying pan. Pinnacle 6. During a 6 pinnacle, there is always some kind of service that needs to be done. It could be in the form of caring and nurturing related to your own family, if you have one, or your friends. But it can also be that you're involved with your community and doing some kind of humanitarian work. There will be responsibilities and duties, and you could be in the role of teaching, counseling, or healing. You're being called to be there for others more than yourself right now. But you need to watch out for overdoing it. You're not supposed to help those who can help themselves. And you also need to be open to receiving so that you do not burn out. Business and financial matters could grow and flourish if you accept the duty and the responsibility that is connected to it. Pinnacle 7. During a seven pinnacle, the world around you will become less compelling to you as you feel drawn to turn your attention inward. You become more interested in the spiritual and the philosophical. It's a time of soul searching and development, of mysticism, of researching and studying, and you have a good chance to grow and acquire knowledge and an understanding of the deeper forces of life and even to become very wise. You may want to specialize in some area and you could become an expert in a field. And if you do not chase after it, there can be fine rewards, even financial and material. 
Although you will have to avoid being restless and believing that the grass is greener somewhere else and instead be patient, poised and focused. Your intuition will be extra strong as well as your soul connection, but it can also be a bit challenging before you adapt to the energy and understand that it is by doing the inner work, having faith and letting go of the ego and all of its attachments that you win. Pinnacle 8. During an 8 pinnacle, you will be more active in the world and handle larger enterprises. You may be dealing with groups, organizations, institutions, larger corporations, and or you could be in a role of being an authority or an advisor. It's a time of material growth and expansion. You will be more ambitious and goal-oriented and your personal power will increase. You'll have an opportunity to advance, to raise your status and find a better position in life. The energy has a great potential for recognition throughout the years. Although your efforts will have to be repeated, the time does not allow for any weakness or falling for temptations. Avoid making money or status your driving force or priority. That would only lead to disappointment and maybe also loss. Instead, you need to keep a healthy balance between the spiritual and a material focus. You'll also need to be very ethical in all your dealings. In other words, you need to keep your ego at bay, which you can do by keeping a spiritual practice throughout. With the right perspective and balance, it can be a very rewarding period in all aspects of life, in a very practical sense. Pinnacle 9. During a 9 pinnacle, you can meet the whole spectrum of human experiences. 9 holds the energy of all the other numbers within and is the number of drama and art. You'll have a heightened aesthetic sense, and if you have any latent artist talent, it will be enhanced and can make itself known. Nine is also the number of philanthropy and business that serve the greater good, and you may be drawn to travel and other cultures. The time will demand of you that you rise above pettiness and instead live your life by spiritual principles like impersonal love, tolerance, acceptance, forgiveness, and kindness. And the better you do that, the better it will be. You will need to have a goal or work with something that is bigger than and goes beyond you. There is no room for being ego-driven, and that can be a tough lesson or not, depending on where you are at when you enter the energy. Nine is also the number of endings and completion, and you may be done with something, clear and clean out. Something may disappear out of your life, and if so, it's because it's no longer meaningful for you as you move forward. Pinnacle 11 during an 11 pinnacle, you'll be extra sensitive and intuitive. It can be a time of enormous spiritual and personal growth, and also a bit demanding emotionally. Your creativity is greatly enhanced now, and you will both be innovative and inventive. You'll need to make sure that you stay grounded, as you can feel charged and even overloaded at times. There can be sudden happenings and, especially in the beginning, there can be a breakup of an association that can be a bit painful to begin with. But remember then that that is for the highest good as it will bring with it a deeper understanding of who you truly are and where you're going and also who others are and not. The light is at this time both shining extra strongly within you and it could also be on you. If other factors support it, you could come into the limelight somehow. At times, this pinnacle will be experienced as the two pinnacle. Pinnacle 22. A 22 pinnacle does not happen very often, but when it does, much is demanded of you. 
the 22 energy asks for all that you are and all that you have. You need to give it your all in order to manifest the potential it holds. You'll have an idea or a vision, something that would take time and a lot of resources to realize. And the challenge with this is both physical and spiritual. But if you devote yourself to the task, if you persist and are focused on the mission and trust that you can do it, if you're open to following your highest path as laid out by your soul, you can do it. You'll have both material, practical, and spiritual support and can create and build something that will outlast your time on earth and be for the good of many. If you do not answer to the 22, you will experience this time as the Four Pinnacle. Pinnacle 33. A 33 pinnacle is rare and can be very intense. 33 is a master number of self-sacrifice. It's called the Christ number. But on the other hand, it can be extremely rewarding as the bigger the challenge, the bigger the reward. No numbers are by chance or coincidence, so you will be protected and guided throughout if you consciously align yourself with your soul's intention and ask for your higher guidance. What can come forth during this time, if it has not already in your life, is your healing and teaching abilities, and you're supposed to use them in service to others. You will need to master your emotions, and you may go through a transformation of some sorts. The 33 can also be experienced as a six pinnacle. Obviously, there is much more that can be said about 33 and the other numbers too, but this is to give you a feel for the energy and what it's about. That was it for this time. I hope you'll find the information helpful and useful. If you want to connect with me and if you want me to look at your individual energies, you're most welcome. you find the information on how to find me below. Take care now. Peace and blessings.